Stefan fucking Wardell Curry, whatever his name is, bro. His full name. What a fucking performance, bro. I'm speechless. Bro, the man had a LeBron game. He had 43, I think, 10 and 4, if I'm not mistaken. The guy was getting clawed at bumped fouled and he still like they managed to win this fucking game. i don't know the warriors man to win man, warriors managed to win this that way but they beat the boston celtics 107 to 97 tying up the series going back to home or um to their new arena curry 43 10 and 4 brown 21 6 and 2 but holy shit when you talk about putting a team on your fucking back like lebron curry curry just did that curry legitimately just did that draymond fucking pathetic like i mean honestly pathetic what he just did last night or tonight um clay didn't show up until the fourth like van gundy said he did nothing the first half pool you have to step the fuck up i don't know what pool is doing the argument tyler's worse than pool is officially done tyler's better than pool because pool's not doing anything he's he legitimately has not shown up maybe once um tatum had an awful game even though he had like 24 points he had like six turnovers three really rough fouls and he was the miscommunication between him and robert williams was pretty much showing the fourth quarter um robert williams is a fucking menace the whole game i mean this guy's probably the best rim protector in the league i'm so dead ass like he might be better than gobert i'm serious like he's doing this with an injured leg and not to mention he is packing shit at the rim there's nothing being thrown like he's not giving anything interior wise to the warriors um wiggins had a beautiful game even though i don't i think he only had like 18 he had like 14 rebounds clutch rebounds he finished strong with both hands tonight um really important passing for gary payton clay and him but just curry i mean he it's a fit i mean we all know he's the best shooter of all time like in the whole universe of all time he's there's no one competing with him but what the shit he made tonight oh my i think that dagger three in like one minute and 10 seconds left was probably the i mean oh my god that fucking shot was nuts he got fouled he was kind of leaning forward he wasn't even like it was an off dribble three I think I, I don't know if it was Brown or Smart was all hey, dripped or draped over him, and then Robert Williams just had a hand up contesting. Or that was, that was probably Al Horford, I'm not mistaken. Um, but he he clocked in the three, and that was the game. Like he he started he got up, started screaming. He pro I didn't know if he threw his mouthpiece, but I mean the guy was hyped. They, they, he knew the game was over. He sealed the deal. And like LeBron quoted years ago, he has the heart of a champion. Like this, he is. He is a champion for a reason. Like he has the heart of a, he has a heart of a lion, the champion. I I don't know, man. I'm speechless right now watching this game. That game was extremely stressful watching because I'm rooting for the Warriors. But Tatum had an awful game, just especially in the late in the game. You have to seal the deal, with Tatum. You just he just hasn't been able to. Smart just I mean, holy shit, the amount of flops you see from Smart is ridiculous. Even though he played pretty good defensively, there's still some egregious flops that you see here and there. Um, Looney, amazing fucking game. Big Kerr has to finally put the notion in. Yeah, Looney might be better than Draymond. I'm so dead ass. Like, he is he fits so much better into the system right now, and he's he's performing so much better. Because Whenever Draymond's on the floor, they're just trapping Steph every single time. They're leaving Draymond open. At least when Steph is getting trapped, he can swing it to Looney as quick as possible. And Looney's actually looking to score instead of just making the pass like Draymond always does. Um, it, it's a problem. Draymond not being able to score is a huge problem. And that's probably their biggest detriment on offense, the Warriors. Clay made a really big three in the wing. I mean, I think it was like... I think it was like five minutes left in the game. It was like a deep ass wing, like damn near at the hash mark from the wing. And he drilled it with like Jalen Brown sagging his head like, damn, I should have got him. I, he should have contested faster. Yeah, the motherfucker could shoot the ball, bro. Pool, I mean, atrocious. Pool has been looking fucking awful. He had two really good mid range shots, but that was it. Um, Gary Payton, great defensively. Um, Pritchard played all right. But the foul calls, holy shit, were the foul calls really bad. I mean, Steph was getting bumped and bruised and clawed at the whole game. They, I don't think they called maybe one foul on Steph besides him driving at the rim late in the game. Um, no, actually, he got to the rim, I think, twice, yeah. Tatum, Tatum, I like Tatum being aggressive when he's slashing and driving aggressively. 
Brown's a fucking tank at the rim. The man's like a football player driving at the rim. I mean, he he lifted Clay off the floor when he drove. He put his shoulder into Clay. That's how you knew that man's strong. Um, but yeah, what a fucking performance from Curry. I mean, holy shit. I did not. Ex I mean, I knew I knew the Warriors had to win this because if you can win one away. And obviously, this was a must-win, but winning one away clearly shifts the whole momentum of this series. But I didn't expect Curry to fucking have 43. Just it was it was the, it was the staple that no one helped this guy the whole night. Like I'm gonna keep saying this: Pool, Clay, Draymond did not step up once. Besides Clay, like I said, in the fourth, maybe a little bit in the fourth, but no one helped Curry the whole game, and that was pretty sickening to see. Um, the man's a living legend, bro. I don't know. I don't know what you want me to say. Do I expect Boston to win this in Golden State? No, no, I don't. I expect them to win Game Six. Sure, shit, bring this to seven. But I, I don't see the Warriors losing next game. I just don't like. Cur sure, Curry might be hurt. He might be minorly tired. Sure, but wait. I expect Wiggins and Poole and Clay to at least step up games Game Five. I, I at least expect them to step up then. Draymond, I, I mean, he's lost hope at this point. He hasn't really stepped up fucking at all. Besides maybe the Nuggets, see, uh, Nuggets series. He hasn't really stepped up at almost all. Um, who else on the Celtics that was um, doing okay? Um, I'm trying to think who else. Grant Williams has done fucking nothing this whole series. Pathetic from him. Um, who else? Derek White has been shooting the lights out of the fucking ball. Even though that last three-point shot kind of sealed the deal. Like, he took, like, a corner three. It completely hung over the rim and airballed. I mean, the motherfucker should have never shot the ball. I don't, I don't know why the ball movement was swung to him at the end. It should have been in Brown's hands. At least maybe Smart's hands or Tatum. But it was swung to him for some odd reason. Um, He's been shooting, like, damn near 50% the whole series, which is nuts to say because... When the fuck did he turn to Steph himself? But, I mean, he's doing his thing. He's doing his thing, Derek White. He might get paid this summer. Um, who else? Uh, Otto Porter is not that great. He didn't do that great. Um, yeah, it's pretty noticeable how bad Draymond's are playing. I, I mean, it's pretty noticeable. But, yeah, what a performance by Steph. Um, hopefully, you guys have a great night. I know this is very quick, but I, I'm still trying to gather my thoughts on what the fuck just happened. Um... The Warriors should have never won this. They should have never won this. Boston had almost every advantage besides stopping Steph Curry. Like, they had every advantage with the foul margin, just the three-point shooting percentage, attacking the rim. Defensively, they were hounding them. I mean, they should have never lost this game. This is all on Tatum. I actually wouldn't say this is all on Tatum. Smart played really poorly on offense. Grant, Grant Williams did nothing to provide. He didn't provide anything. And Ime Udoka just... He, he was doing so well coaching into the fucking fourth quarter. I mean, he literally had a, a pre-interview into the fourth. He was like, yeah, we got to stop Steph. Motherfucker, that clearly did not work, bro. You clearly didn't trap hard enough. Like, Steph was just ice wing going to screens. I mean, that pick and roll game by the Warriors, when Steph gets a high-ass screen, it like damn near half court at some point, so the hash mark of the wing, it's really hard to stop that pick and roll, but you just got to blitz the guy at some points. But... Yeah, I'm sorry if this is very short, but uh, hopefully you guys have a great night. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Chris, and I'll see y'all in Game 5. What a fucking performance by Steph. That's all I gotta say. What a performance. Living legend. Uh, have a good night. I'm out. Peace.